what is going on everyone leon checking in and we're at it again with another video in today's video we're going to talk more about the moto 360 wear os smartwatch battery we're also going to demonstrate a few things first we're going to demonstrate how to find battery information in the wear os companion app then we'll go over runtime and charging results based on my personal use all things said let's go ahead and get into it. So first things first, let's talk about how to access battery information in the Wear OS Companion app. So you're gonna look for the Wear OS Companion app. It's going to be an icon with a W on it. It's got the famous Google color, so we're gonna tap on that. Now here we are in the app. It shows my smartwatch at the top. Again, we're using the Moto 360, and I'm gonna swipe down to the bottom, and you're gonna see Advanced Settings, and we're gonna tap on that. So here we are in Advanced Settings. We don't have a whole lot going on. It's pretty simple. I like the layout here. And we're gonna look for Watch Battery, and we're gonna tap on that. Now here we are with the Watch Battery information, and things look really simple. They actually look even more simple than normal because my Watch Battery is at 99%, so we don't have a whole lot of data here. Now, if I'd been using my watch longer on this charge, this graph would be a little bit more jagged and it'd be going down. Also under this graph, we'd have a list of items that were used during this charge and the items that were used the most would be at the top of the list. The items that were used less would be towards the bottom. Now we're going to go back to the main screen by tapping the arrow in the top left hand corner a few times. Now here we are back at the main screen and I just want to demonstrate something here. So obviously this app works in portrait mode, but we can rotate the phone. It also works in landscape mode so we can scroll down here and just get a different orientation. Next we want to talk about runtime. Now I recorded my runtime on my work days, which would be Monday through Friday. And I did that because I knew I'd be using the watch the longest and the most. Now I use the watch most for viewing time, notifications, heart rate, and recording my exercise routines. On on day one, I had a runtime of 17 hours and 45 minutes. However, the watch said we still had four hours left. On day two, I had a runtime of 16 hours and 25 minutes. This left us with an estimated runtime of one hour and 25 minutes. Day three seen a runtime of 13 hours and 50 minutes. Now this was mainly because I went to sleep a little bit earlier. Now the Wear OS Companion app estimated we had eight more hours left of runtime. Day four had a runtime of 16 hours and 30 minutes. On this day, the Companion app estimated five hours of runtime left. And on day five, we had a runtime of 17 hours and 30 30 minutes. The companion app estimated we had three hours runtime left. So this gives us an estimated runtime of 21 hours. That being said, the Moto 360 made it through the whole day with extra time left without battery saver enabled. So how does the Moto 360 perform with battery saver? I'm not exactly sure. That's because every time I tried to turn on battery saver, the Moto 360 would just turn off. Now I'm not sure if this was operator error or a Wear OS bug, but I did send feedback to Google. So the question is, do you have this issue? Let us know in the comments below. As always, report feedback to the device and software manufacturer so the product can be improved. Finally, we have charging. I bought this stand by Lamacall, which holds the Moto 360 smartwatch charger as well as my Google Pixel 4 XL perfectly. You can find the stand by clicking on the card in the corner of this video. So how does charging work? First, it's important to note that the Moto 360 smartwatch must be aligned and seated on the charger completely to initiate the charge. I had only one or two instances where the Moto 360 was not seated completely on the charger and that prevented the device from charging. As for my experience with charging, the Moto 360 took about one hour to reach a full charge. Now this is a plus because obviously the smartwatch charges fast, but it also gives you an estimated runtime of 21 hours. So final thoughts. So the Moto 360 gets me through a whole day with extra runtime left, which is great. However, I would like to have extra runtime so I can wear the Moto 360 overnight so I can get other metrics without having to worry about charging. With how the Moto 360's battery performance is now, the device would either die during the night or in the early morning. However, we do have that fast one hour charge time, which would allow us to get the device ready for overnight. However, you'd probably wanna charge a device again in the morning to make sure you'll actually make it through the whole day. And then there's battery saver, which I couldn't get to work. Now this leaves me wondering how the Moto 360 would perform if I could enable battery saver. Now, if this is a Wear OS bug, I'm sure it could be fixed with an update and then we'll try it out in the future. 
future. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, as a part of something new I'm doing, comments may be featured on my Instagram and that's just my way to show my appreciation and share some of the content. Now, there are three ways you could support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way to support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by clicking on that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.